This video is to go over the new tool bank order management system for member agencies. Uh, once you are able to log in to the new portal, uh, as soon as you log in, you'll come here to the home screen, which you can also always access by clicking the home link up here at the top. Uh, it's going to give you some key information about your agency. These details are provided during the initial application and we'll show here. If there's changes to any of this information that needs to be made, you'll have to contact the tool bank that you're affiliated with to make that change. The next section here is related to contacts. Um, during an initial application, you'll identify a primary and or executive contact for the application. Um, at any one time, you can only have one primary and one executive contact. Both of these people will receive notifications on any orders um, or any changes that happen within the portal to uh, that it will affect your agency. Um, it's important to note that the executive contact can turn off their notifications, but a primary contact cannot. We always need to have one person that we can remain in contact with throughout the process. If you need to change your primary contact or any other information, you can do that by clicking on the edit icon next to it. So if I wanna make Batman the primary contact, I can click the edit button here and click primary contact. Um, I can also ask, add a phone number, Um, and if I ever need to update his uh, email address, maybe we're going to a .org instead of a .com. So I want to make that change. I could do that and click save here. Um, and now he's the primary. If I needed to switch the primary to Batman I, or to Spider-Man, I would first click Batman, uncheck it, click save, and then go to Spider-Man. and turn them on. Um, and then down at the very bottom here, you'll have the membership details, when your membership started, when it's expiring, and what's your current status. Over on the side panel is information about orders. So any orders that are coming up in the future, uh, any orders that you've recently reviewed will be down here at the bottom. So those are ones that you've recently looked at. To place a new order, you'll start with this blue button right here click create new order. You'll come to an initial screen, which is going to ask for information about your project. First information being, when are you looking to pick up tools? Let's set this for next Thursday. And then you can select a time. Um, these are desired scheduled pickup dates and times. Once the tool bank receives it, they'll review it to determine if that's feasible or not, and then be in contact if they need to make an adjustment. Um, next, we select the borrowing period that's in week time frame. So I'll select two weeks. Uh, it'll automatically set this for two weeks in the future from the time that we borrowed. You can change it by day. So let's say I want to return on Friday instead of Thursday. Um, but it may require you to change your pickup or your um, borrowing period in order to match that. Sorry. Okay. You can name the information, the order, anything you like. So I'm going to name this RV's great. Uh, and then you're going to enter other information about your project. Um, all this information is required, and we use it to um, track how tools are being utilized. Um, right here on zip codes, you can enter one or multiple. Um, you just put a comma in between them if you need to enter more than one.
These ones down here about the types, uh, they're the square boxes. You can select more than one if you'd like to. If you're curious about what any of them mean, you can roll over the eye here and get any get additional information about that. And when you've finished the page, click the continue button here over to the side. Okay, so the next page is going to take you through the tools themselves. Um, there's a few things about that. First, we have a search up here in the top. So if you just want to search for a particular tool, you can type it in and then hit your enter key and that'll execute the search. A um, couple things here. Most tools are going to have a category. So you can search by this category as well if you're trying to find something specific um, and also a, sub, a subcategory, which is also searchable. Then you have the tool name. Um, some will have a tool note, not all of them. So if you roll over the eye and it just gives you the, um, the little square here, then there's uh, no additional note. But here where it's giving you the blue, it's telling me I may also need a dustpan with this. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, I'm gonna get four brooms. Um, and then the same thing with the picture. Not every tool has a picture, but most of them will to give you an idea of what it looks like. So I've got my broom and I'm going to clear the search so I can go back to seeing. So I'll delete the information that's in there and click the enter key. That will get me the full list of tools. Um, another way to reduce tools or to search to find uh, certain tools is to use the highlights. Highlights apply both here to the common tools and to job type. So common tools are people, ones that people um, often order or often loan. If I click that and I start scrolling through, you'll see that it's highlighting them in pink. And let's say I'm also interested in festival and races. And so when I do that, I've got my pink items, but now I've got some additional purple items highlighted. So both highlights will show. Um, if it applies to both, it'll highlight for the first one that you selected first, but it will still remain highlighted. Um, so from here, I wanna add a couple of these fair tools. So let me add a few of these by just entering the quantity. There's also the arrow button here that you can use to enter. Great, and you know, maybe I'm gonna add a couple down here closer to the bottom. Okay, and after I've added some tools and maybe I've done a few searches and added some, and I just wanna check what my tool order looks like to make sure that I have everything. You can come down here to the filter. You can filter on the common tools, which will reduce to just those uh, initial highlights we saw or you can reduce by selected tools. So let me do that. And the selected tools is gonna to show me all the things that I've placed uh, in order on. So one of the things that I picked was the broom and the broom had the additional note that I wanted, that I may need a dustpan to, and I have not added that in, I can see that here. So I'm gonna take off the selected filter. So when I search, I can see against all of it. And I'm going to enter in another search. And there's that dustpan, and I do want to get one of those. So I'm going to add that to my tool order as well. OK, so now I'm complete. I'm going to click Continue. This will take me to a review page. This is all the information um, that's important that I've entered so far, the date and the pickup time when I would be scheduled to return, how long my loan duration was, what's the um, retail cost of this order, and then what um, the charge to me would be, the handling fee is gonna to be to me. If I need to change anything, I'll use the previous button. So not these chevrons up here, but the previous button to go back through. And maybe I wanna change the time to 2.30 instead of 3.30. Um, maybe I wanna add an additional item here. Click continue. And my order looks good, so I'm going to place the order now. 
And it's going to let you know that we're going to contact you within two days. You'll also receive an email that we've received this order to let you to just have a con second confirmation that the order has been entered. Um, to view the details on the order, you can click here in this link. And it's going to take you to the details of the order. Um, this is all information that you entered or information that was calculated. Down here on the bottom, maybe some information if you're looking at an order that was placed before we move to the new system, um, but this information won't be important long term. But if you had an order previously entered, that might have some information in it you want to see. Um, as you go along with the order, there may be some additional fees applied, uh, and those will be uh, added here, and you'll be able to see them here. And then as you make your do your pickups and your returns and your paids, you'll see that information come in here. Um, if I click on the orders tab up at the top, I can see it's going to start all the time with your recently viewed orders. So these are things that you've recently viewed. Um, if something else might be more interesting to you, you can click this drop down here to see other options to, to filter the, your order list by. One of them is all orders. So I could click that and that's all orders that I've made um, or that have been made for my agencies, not just for myself. And then there's also a list for every status and then today's. So this will show you orders that were placed today and then one for every status. So if the status or if the list that might be most interesting to you might be orders that are confirmed, if you select that and click this pin here, this will be the list you see every time you come to the orders tab. So if I come to home and then click orders, you'll see that it defaulted to the confirmed. I can still always get to the other list, but this pin here just lets you pick the one that's most interesting. You can also use the search up here to search for orders. So if I search for tool, I've got two um, orders in here that have tool in the name. And so those will come back. And again, I can just click on the name and come back to that details page. Um, if I need to see what tools I have in my order, I can click this related and I'll see the orders that are listed here. It's going to show me a, a small amount. It's going to tell you the number here. But if I click view all, then I'll see all of them. And then you can click the breadcrumb to come back to the screen. I'm hitting back to related. Um, I'll get a list of the history. So as the status changes on this, as it becomes confirmed, um, fulfilled and returned, you'll see that information listed here in the history. And as you make payments for the order, those payments will be listed as well.